And this week, our Desmond Shaw is flying over Pasadena, a city full of incredible and iconic landmarks. In tonight's look at this, he rounds out the week over an architectural gem that captures the spirit <clears throat> of the city itself. Well, take a look at this craftsman style home. This is the Gamble House, and in a city full of stunning historic and famous homes, this one is perhaps the most famous of all, and one of the most famous homes in all of Southern California. Built for David Barry Gamble and his wife Mary, David's father James was co founder of Procter and Gamble, which almost 200 years after its founding, still one of the largest companies in the world. In fact, the company was so profitable by 1885 that David had retired from the company that his father built. And like so many wealthy Midwesterners and East Coasters, they took to spending winters in Pasadena, first residing in some of the resort hotels that we've looked at before, like the Castle Green and the Vista del Arroyo. But by the early 1900s, they decided they wanted to live in Pasadena full time, and they commissioned the city's most well-known architects, the Green Brothers, to build their new home. The Greens, best known for popularizing craftsman-style homes, and most of the biggest craftsmen you still see in Pasadena were built by them, and they are extremely coveted properties when they come up for sale. This home may just be their magnum opus. It was finished in 1909 and the Gambles played a big part in its design while their Gilded Age counterparts were building grand, even ostentatious homes on nearby Millionaire's Row. The Gambles seemed much more focused on building a home that synced in harmony with its surroundings. It's only 8,000 square feet, whereas their wealthy contemporaries were building homes closer to 20,000 square feet. They really loved the outdoor environment here near the Arroyo Seco. They wanted a home to seamlessly blend the interior and exterior spaces with the trees and vegetation. And that's especially evident on both the front and back porches. The interior complements the exterior as well with the more than t a, a dozen different types of wood used to make up the home. The Gambles enjoyed their retirement here until their passing. David in 1923, Mary in 1929. Their son Cecil and his wife Lois uh, lived here from the 40s to the 60s. They actually considered selling it until prospective buyers said that they wanted to paint the rich interior woods over with white paint. They knew they had a real gem on their hands, so the family instead decided to gift the home to the city of Pasadena in a joint agreement with the University of Southern California School of Architecture. And now you can enjoy this quintessential craftsman by touring the estate. You'll want advanced reservations, and there are quite a few rules that you'll need to be aware of. But if you're a fan of craftsman-style homes like I am, really the embodiment of early Southern California, it doesn't get any better than the Gamble House. Gamblehouse.org for more information. Taking a look at this from SkyCal, I'm Desmond Shaw. And if you'd like Desmond to take a look at something interesting in your neighborhood, just write us at look at this at cbs.com.